Yay! Yay! All right, you're going to buy an electric car, um, whether you want to or not. So do you need to get a special kind of outlet for the electric car, or can you just plug it into the wall? Um, all right, let's see. Um, I looked up the Tesla. Uh, one of their car batteries is rated at 75 kilowatt hours. So it can give you 75 kilowatts for an hour. Um, and suppose you drain it all the way down and you want to charge it all the way back up using a wall outlet. No special hardware. Because one of the things that people do is that when you get an electric car, um, instead of having just a, a, a normal for the United States 120 volt outlet, um, you might want a 240 volt outlet. Um, so here's why. I'll show you why. Uh, if you have a wall outlet that's 120 volts, and normally uh, they can't give you any more than about 15 amps, or they'll trip the circuit breaker uh, to protect the wiring, because if it's more than 15 amps, then the wires will get too hot, because they have internal resistance, right, in the wire. And so more than 15 amps is going to make them a fire hazard. So um, you can pull 15 amps out of a wall socket, um, and so 120 volts at 15 amps, how long would it take you to charge, uh, the car battery? Um, so let's see, there's, there's a couple, there's sort of a, a really direct way and a slightly more indirect way to figure it out. Let's do it the short, the long way first, and then I'll tell you the, the short way. Um, both are pretty short. Um, okay. 75 kilowatt hours. What is that? It's 75,000 watt hours so that's going to be 75,000 joules per second times 3600 seconds per hour times the hour that we had there uh let's see and i did this already and i got 2.7 times 10 to the eighth joules okay so that car battery is going to store uh, 270 megajoules. Um, okay. Uh, so let's see, what's the power coming out? What's the maximum power you can get out of a wall socket? It's just going to be I times V. So it's going to be 15 times 120. Um, so that's about 1800 Watts. That's the most you can pull out of a standard outlet. Uh, so that's 1800 uh, joules per second. Um, okay, so if I have 2.7 times 10 to the eighth joules, and I only get it at uh, 1.8 times 10 to the third joules per second, that's going to give me a number of seconds that it'll take right? To get the thing charged up. 2.7 divided by what's that? 3, that's about 1 point, uh, that's about 1.5, isn't it? So that's about 1.5 times 10 to the fifth, so 150,000 seconds. Um, let's see. Uh, there's 86,000, uh, 30 uh, divided by 3,600 seconds per hour. And that'll give me hours. Did I do that? Yep, I sure did. That's going to be about 42 hours. Um, so to fully charge the car up from the wall outlet uh, is going to be almost two full days. Um, I mean, maybe that's all right. And, and certainly uh, uh, if you don't drag it all the way down um, and you don't need it filled all the way up to the top, you might be able to get by with just a standard wall outlet. But the idea is if you have a 240 uh, volt outlet that you have uh, put in um, by an electrician, I can have that time, right? You can get twice as much power out and so you can fill it up um, in uh, half the time. Um, so maybe that would be uh, worth it to you. Instead of waiting two days, maybe from totally empty to totally full, uh, you can charge it up in um, in one day. Uh, and that's why if you go to supercharging stations, I think um, they are significantly faster. Um, doing it through your house is the slow way to do it. But then of course, it's also um, the most convenient. Oh, and I mentioned the quick way. There's a quick way that, that we could have done this. We could have said, I know it was 75 kilowatt hours 
And once I figured this out, this was 1.8 kilowatts that I pull out of the wall. If we just divide these two numbers, we got it. And we got hours up top, right? Because this will give us uh, something like 42 hours. We could have done it just like that. So there's a number of different ways that you can get there. Um, so anyway, welcome to our electric future. <laughs>